guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here, out down in Christchurch, Hearn Airport to be precise, uh, at a car show on Bank Holiday Monday. Looking around, a very good turnout. It's at the, um, the go-kart track, so uh, lots of great uh, uh, scenery here, kind of sporty track all around with cars parked all around. I'll just um, show you around and see what we've got and uh, feast your eyes on this um, absolute fantastic bunch of cars. Okay, so here we are at South Coast Karting. They've actually hired out the uh, track today and the facilities for the car show. A bit different to just turning up to a field, which is really nice. Uh, the Red Barrow UES 591S is here, as you can see, next to a very nice uh, Volkswagen Beetle uh, in a bright orange colour, which uh, looks very, very resplendent in this August sunshine. Uh, a couple of Mustangs over there, uh, what else, various bikes and so on, BSA next to us here. Which so yeah, it's a 1932 BSA 1021cc, um, which uh, he's taking a lot of time to rebuild, which looks really, really smart. Um, Lancia there. Got a brace of Fords here, Mark II. Peugeot. Capri. Some very nice American numbers here. Beautiful. There's a brace of Fords I was just talking about. So um, RS2000, rare as hen's teeth these days, these cars. It's worth a fortune now too as well. Don't see too many of these much these days either. The old uh, Ford Sierra, or is it Granada? I'm not quite sure. But uh, Sierra, I think. TR7. Some nice Capris here. Yeah, nice idea this. You're literally on the uh, cart track as if you're racing. That's really good. Mercedes, beautiful Mercedes, look at this. That E plate, so 60s car, very tidy. <coughs> very nice indeed. 280SL, but a proper original 280SL. Austin Westminster, Mark II. Mark II. Just going to wander around the track, keep going. <laughs> Looks like my neighbour's arrived as well. He's got a stag too. Lovely Dormobile there. Another estate Ford. Here's a stag. This is, uh, I think I've just met this gentleman who just owns this car and uh, he's just said we're in the Harry the Stag badge, which he is. <laughs> Good man. Hopefully you'll see this on the channel. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> and uh, a lovely looking car. A lot better nick than mine. Gorgeous. Stag here on the R Ridge, pristine colour. Beautiful. Well, there's a paint job on this one. Awesome. Look at Mercedes, look at that. That is just stunning. Beautiful colour coheding, red and black. And the Ford Capri. Yeah, it's the Morgan. The last Morgan 4 ever to be registered in the UK, it says. Pretty mean. Great colour scheme as well. And the 
next to a pristine Mark II RS. And that's a nifty looking fast forward from the 80s on an A-registered plate. So that's about 84, 85-ish. 84 probably, if not 83. Yeah, 4x4 XR4i. Again, you don't see too many of these cars, uh, as you don't the RS Cosies either. D Reg is about 87, isn't it? So, next to a beautiful TR6. Looking very, very nice. Not quite sure what colour that is. Almost like a plum colour. There's the uh, fast forwards. Again, another TR6 there. The mean air dam on the front. Another RS. <coughs> Console there. In fact, there's two. Quite windy today, which is nice, not so blinking hot like it was the other week when we were at Bremer House. Interesting VW there. And there. And they're still coming in. There's Porsche arrived. I love the colour scheme of that. It's smart, isn't it? Yeah. I've got well past that. A brace of minis. That'll do you. Any type I've just spotted. Stingray, just listen to that. Go on, we'll spin it. There you go. There it is. There's the wedge of the Austin. Ambassador, this one, they look very similar to the Princess, I forget the differences. Oh, it is a Princess. 2.2 HL. Not for grabs if anybody wants it. featured this on the channel yet but I'm pretty sure this white stag is the one that lives literally around the corner from us. We've not filmed it yet, we will do probably a little session on it for him. Bournemouth registered, C-E-L, denotes a Bournemouth uh, registration and uh, it's a Mark 1 that uh, immaculately appointed overdrive manual and uh, very very tidy car. Well stored, I know, well looked after, well cherished. Beautiful example. And I just bumped into him on the way out, actually, just to say, are you coming down? He said yes. So he's obviously having a look round as we speak at other cars. Triumph Saloon over there. Zoom in. There 
go. Bring your own camper. American car here, Continental. I think I've seen this one before around Bournemouth a couple of years back, pre pandemic. It is huge. If you think American cars are big, this is like twice the size. I love the velour seats inside when I saw it before. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, pretty sure it's the same one. Look at that. <laughs> Looks lovely. Some more over there. And Healy in the distance. Okay. Minis. What else you got? Yeah, actually a good little show. I like the way they've laid it all out. So you're actually walking around the track as you're um, viewing cars rather than across lots and lots of lanes of traffic. Into Mark 1, Ford Escort. <coughs> Fiesta. Ford Cortina, one of my earlier cars. This one's a two litre, P registered. Good condition. I like these cars. This is my second car I had when I were a lad, 17, 18, after I trashed my Triumph. But uh, yeah, just as I remember it, something. Um, oh, so a 2000E. Right, okay, so they're pretty rare actually these days. There you go. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that quick whistle-stop trip around the, uh, the show today. Uh, be sure to make some comments and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you on Hein on Arrow the Stag very soon. <laughs> All the best. <laughs>